welcome back to learning partner so with this video i am starting new series where i will be focusing more on the logical part which will cover all the basic topic and why we need to learn the logic okay so today we are going to see how we create a dependent drop down someone may call it as a cascading drop down okay so as you can see we have four drop downs okay so first is a select client so here we can show the client so here we can show the client values okay based on the client selection i should uh, call the api and i get the particular site of that clients okay then i will show the sites here based on the site selection i will call the particular buildings of that particular site and based on the building selection i will call the floors okay so i have my i have developed some particular apis for this so this is the first api which will give us all the clients okay so as you can see this api returns an object we have message result and data and in data we have got the object this is one client then second and third okay so as you can see client id is 238 now next api is like on the change of this client drop down i should call the api to get all the sites of that particular client so next api is get all site by client id so 238 that was the first client so you can see these are the sites we have for that particular client okay now if we see 191 is my site id so again we have next api like let's say 269 is another so here i can get okay let me try 191 yeah so for this particular site i have this number of buildings okay now for this particular building let's check like four floors are there or not so building id is 225 yes yeah so we in 225 we have two floors let's make it 226 that is the second building yeah wait let me yeah again we have one maybe yeah again we have one floor only in the 226 so these are the different apis we have so these are the different apis we have now same apis we are going to consume here so that it will be dependent okay let me show you the project structure this is just a normal project i have created again okay, it is with the bootstrap uh, sorry angular 15 and Uh, one component is created user in app module i have imported http client module because we are going to make the api call and then forms module because we are going to bind, bind the ng model okay so let's see now okay in the uh, user component i have created four variables that is client id site id building id client id site id building id floor id respectively i have binded them with the ng model in the html okay now next thing is like on the page load we have to first call the client because remaining drop downs are dependent on the selection of the client selection of the client so on the page load we just have to client uh, we just have to call the clients okay so this is the api which uh, provide us all the clients information so now http client object is already created let me create a function load create a function load clients okay here we need to make the api call this dot http our api call is get so we have to use the get so here we need to pass the api which gives us the client so this is the api so this is the api it should be in the string okay once we get once the api call is successful so we need to subscribe the result means success call result colon any okay so 
we need to we have i have created a variable where i will be storing the clients so this dot clients is equal to now if you see the response the response of this api call is an object in in that object we have three field message result and the data in data we have the actual array so we need to use result to use result dot data result dot data okay and we need to call this in ng on in it that will be on the page load okay now once i get the clients i need to bind those into the option of first drop down correct so for that i will use ng for variable name will be clients and i need to bind the value as a property binding that will be item dot now if we check the api call we have client id which we have to bind and in to show the user we have to show item dot client name so let's just copy paste it okay so let's save and check it let's check the network tab on the page load we should see one network api call let it compile okay so it is compiled successfully okay on the page load you can see get all a client api call is there and in the result we have got the data now if i see wait let me check the html again why it is not binding sorry my mistake i have bind that in the site so let it okay so on the page load we have the api call and if we check these are the various clients we have okay now next thing is like on the client change we have to hit our second api that is get all site by client id okay so we have to write the change event on the first drop down so that will be over here change get sites by client id okay now we have to create this function again same thing will be there just api call will be different So this is the api call now id will be dynamic so instead of 238 we just need to make it dynamic that will be this dot client id okay because this client id we have binded to our drop down okay so just like the client array we need to create one, one more array which will hold all the sites okay and this will be over here be over here let's check if api call is there or not then we will bind the drop down okay so on the page load we have get all client once i change it yes so you can see 238 call is there if i change again 239 call is there okay so on the change we are making the api call and we are getting the data also right so for the first client only i have the sites okay so this line to the site drop down so here we need to bind it again property binding to the value because we are going to need the site id so item dot 
site id let's check the response also yes site id is only there and we have to show the site name item dot site name. let's save and check now okay so on the page load we have one api call that is get all client if i change it yes and that we can see here if i change it again kuna it services so you can see we have empty array same wise it is empty okay let me just push some record to the second site as well okay so let me just again change it back i have added some record to 239 yeah so here you can see now we have got this two for the Puna Mighty services and if we change it back to Kedar group I can see some more sites okay so we have done dependent drop down of just client and the site now on change of site also we need to call the building so again we have one more API that we need to bind so So on building we need to call again change event now this will be get building by site id so let's create this function so this is how we create the dependent drop down okay we just need to pass the depend no, parent id so that it will be it will fetch the data let me just change it now to get the building by site id we need to pass the site id so this dot site id, site id will be here and we need to create one more variable which will hold the buildings so that will be buildings let's assign it over here and there and same thing we can bind it to our for loop also then ng4 then we need to find buildings over there item dot building id will be there let's see the response yes building id is there and to show it we will show the building name so item dot yeah building name is there that we will bind it over here so let's save and check it again on the page load we will have just one api call that is to load the parent drop down okay once we change it now you can see we don't have any site once we change it to kedar group yeah so we have this much of site now if i change the site currently we don't have any building if i change the site wait why api call is not there let me save again Let's try it now. Okay, so get that group, then we will select the site. Why API call is not there on the site change? So let's see. 
okay again we have made the mistake this should be over here on the change of the site we need to call the building we have we have put it on the wrong line okay so once we change the client one api call is there which is calling the site on change of site we have another api call which is calling the buildings so you can see in this build in this site we have four five buildings let's change to apurva now we have just this let's change to avalanche now we have this okay again let's change to kemetria and we have this okay so this is how we this is we have uh, dependent drop down three level we have done now just the last one we will do it now last one is on the change of the building we need to call floors in that particular buildings change equal to double quotes get floor by building id let's create the function Again it, again, again, it, again, it is totally dependent on your API. Like what, what kind of API you have? Sometimes it might be you need to send all the three parameters like building ID, site ID, and everything. Okay, it is again dependent on the your API building. But the basic concept will be same. On the change of it, we need to call the data of the next drop down. So instead of building, it will be now floors. Let's assign the floors in the last function and let and let's bind that the last drop down to the last drop down it will just copy paste to save the time it will be floors now if we check the last api call we have we have got floor id and to display we have to show floor number let's save and check now okay so on the page load we have get all client once we change kedar we have got the site of the particular kedar group once we change the uh, site we have got the particular buildings from that apurva build site okay let's change apurva a block so we have got floors floor one two three let's change apurva b block yeah we don't have any floors in b block let's check c okay so only in the block apurva block a we have the floors remaining we don't have it okay so this is how we create the dependent drop down hope you have all got the topic now the api might be something else or if you have the static array you just have to use the filter to filter out the data okay but the basic logic is same okay so in the next video we are going to see another topic which will be morely focused on the logic building so till then Please do subscribe and like the video.